With pedestrian accidents on the rise, let's learn how to protect yourself from becoming a victim. Happy Friday and welcome back to another Presser Law Fridays at 5. This week, we're discussing pedestrian-involved accidents in Florida. A recent study estimated that there were almost 70,000 pedestrians injured in motor vehicle crashes across the United States, and this resulted in almost 5,400 pedestrians being killed. Florida was one of the more dangerous places for pedestrians, with 9,000 pedestrian-involved crashes and over 650 fatalities in 2016 alone. And the area from Kissimmee to Orlando to Sanford, recently found to be near the top of the most dangerous places to walk and one of the most dangerous states. Now, pedestrian-involved accidents can be fatal, but even the non-fatal pedestrian crashes often result in serious injuries to the victims. These include traumatic brain injuries, broken bones, torn ligaments, severe scarring, emotional pain. With so much interaction between pedestrians and motor vehicles, many people often forget that both drivers and pedestrians have duties to each other in order to avoid these dangerous collisions. Let's explore some things pedestrians and drivers can do to avoid being involved in these terrible crashes. So if you're a pedestrian, here are some tips. Number one, walk on the sidewalk where available. Where there's no sidewalk, walk on the left side of the road toward oncoming traffic. This allows you to see an oncoming danger. Number two, wait until it's safe to cross the road. This may sound obvious, but people can misjudge the speed and location of oncoming vehicles if they're distracted or not paying attention. Number three, use crosswalks where available. They're there for your safety. Use them. Number four, don't cross an intersection diagonally unless specifically authorized to do so. Number five, if you're out at night, wear light-colored or reflective clothing or items. This will help drivers be able to see you as they approach you. Number six, don't rush. If you see an oncoming vehicle, wait for it to pass before you cross the street. Waiting for it to pass significantly increases the chance of you not getting struck by a vehicle. Number seven, pay attention. Walking and looking at your phone may allow you to catch up on texts, but it's gonna prevent you from being able to see an oncoming danger. So those are some items you can do as a pedestrian. Now let's explore what you can do as a driver. So as a driver, you can do a couple of things. Number one is pay attention. People are generally harder to spot than vehicles because they're much smaller in size. If you're on your phone, this is going to hamper your ability to see people even further. Number two, if you see a pedestrian in the roadway or the crosswalk, prepare to slow down or stop your vehicle and allow the pedestrian to cross safely across the road. Number three, practice defensive driving and anticipate the danger. Pedestrians enter roadways. We're aware of this. So anticipate that a pedestrian may enter a roadway unexpectedly and prepare yourself to be able to avoid that accident. And drive the speed limit. Speed limits are there for a reason. The faster you drive, the longer your stopping distance if you have to avoid hitting someone. Pedestrian accidents can be deadly, but they're avoidable. So let's do our part in bringing down the number of accidents we have this year. Thank you for tuning in this week. For more information and videos on this and a variety of other topics, please visit my website, www.findyourjustice.com. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. We'll see you next week for another Fridays at 5. Presser Law, fighting for justice, fighting for you.